What's up, everyone? It's your boy Norman Rad 89 here, bringing you another Rad Movie Review. I know it's been a minute since I've been popping out videos, but I've been really busy with work lately and just life stuff, so it's been kind of hard to get to the video thing. I'm finally going to get a chance to sit down and hopefully get a few videos filmed today, so that way I can have them pumped out throughout the week and everything. But today, what you came here all to see is my thoughts and my feelings on Exorcist the Believer, yes, I am here to chat about Exorcist the Believer. I caught it in theaters. This is directed by David Gordon Green and is the first in a trilogy of films that is going to be direct sequels to the first Exorcist from back in the day. So like I said today, you're going to hear my thoughts on this film, the positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. So you guys are going to just have to get used to the fact that I, in this rad movie review, I consistently refer to this film as Exorcist the Believer, but it's The Exorcist Believer. But, you know, I wear graveyards and tired, maybe had a beer or two before I filmed this video. So like I said, you know, bear with me. So Exorcist the Believer, like I said, is the first film in a trilogy of films that is going to be coming out with the, that are considered direct sequels to that first Exorcist film. This very first film that we have right now is directed by David Gordon Green. And that's one thing, like, I know a lot of people kind of had some skepticisms about going into this film because of David Gordon Green and stuff, because of what he did with the Halloween franchise. But we got we got to keep giving the guy a shot. I think he's somebody that is a director that he knows what he's doing and what he wants to do. And you might not like what he does with some of the, you know, the properties or the stories that he brings to life. But he is a creative person and he has a clear cut idea in mind and stuff. So, yeah, let's like I said today talk about Exorcist the Believer which is now the newest film in the Exorcist franchise and we follow two girls Angela and Catherine who end up getting lost for three days and then when they are found they begin showing signs of demonic possession. This film stars Ellen Bernstein, Leslie Odom Jr. and we also have Lydia Jouette and Olivia O'Neill. So right off the bat let's just lean right into the positives is that I think the cast is pretty slam dunk. My favorites are the young girls. I think the young girls do a beautiful job in this film portraying, you know, the possession, the scary moments and all that kind of stuff. Do they get a lot of time on screen though? We must talk about that later when we get to mixed and negatives, but in terms of their performances, I think there is nothing wrong with them. Also, Leslie Odom Jr. does a fantastic job as Angela's father, like really, you know, showing his torment, showing, you know, his like emotions, but without being emotional you know what i mean he's really good at just delivering those mannerisms or the way he says a line or the way he throws a look at somebody so i think he did a fantastic job in his role as well so the acting pretty solid across the board in my opinion i also love the practical effects and the special effects the, the look of the girls the way that they you know transition as the movie progresses and then when we get into the third act the effects special effects and practical effects there i thought were all on point. There were a lot of points where they impressed me. And like I said, this is the same, I believe, the same practical effects and special effects artists from um, Halloween 2018 and Kills and Ends and stuff. So David Gordon Green's kind of keeping the same crew along with him as he's traveling on to different, you know, horror franchises and stuff. I also think the film had a good time length, a good pace to it. It was, it didn't feel too long. It didn't feel too short or anything like that. It was really just like did deliver on terms of the runtime. And I felt like the third act when they went down to it, I was actually, like I said, quite surprised because this is a film going into it. I had very little expectations, not because of the word of mouth and what people were saying, because I'm not really high on the Exorcist franchise and I'm not really that big into possession movies. I do enjoy them and I watch them and everything, but it's not one of my go-to subgenres. So going into this film, I wasn't like, you know, overjoyed or anything like that. But I was actually, like I said, very surprised about the product I saw on screen. Like I said, David Gordon Green, I think in terms of directing, nailed it he has a clear direction that he went with 
The acting is pretty solid across the board. There's some others we must talk about later we're going to talk about. And I think the story has a very nice pace to it. And the special effects and practical effects all landed for me. They looked very realistic and gruesome. And I thought, like I said, all that stuff are all positives for me. Now let's get into the mixed and negatives because there are some problems with this film for me. And like in terms of the main problem is I think there's a good chunk of the film where the girls disappear. And like one of them is pr pretty much just completely sidelined. Like this is more about... Angela and her father. They are very much the main characters of this story. Catherine and her parents are just kind of there for the ride. But I think for me, there's a good chunk of the movie where both of the girls were sidelined. I can't tell you how much it, like how much runtime it felt like, but it felt like a good minute where I was watching it and I was like, all right, well, I kind of wanted some more exorcism, you know, exorcist stuff and more scary moments and everything. And that's another thing is there's very little like, not a lot. It's very much a character development type story and, you know, dealing with trauma and like making choices and stuff and what they have to go through to help these girls. You know what I mean? And people and Anne Dowd is also in here. That's another fantastic the actress. She did a fantastic job. Anne Dowd's character as the nurse who ends up helping them and she was a formerly a nun. She has a great character arc. So there's great character moments and like said character study stuff in this film and there's not really a lot of like said exorcism or exorcist action and if it is there it's kind of stuff we've already seen very cookie cutter another negative for me with this film is that it is very jump scare heavy especially towards the first 25 minutes 20 minutes of the film it's very jump scare heavy and I kind of hate that, like very loud noises, like all of a sudden or like flickering of lights on and off. And then like somebody suddenly standing there, like just very common things. And it went like very jump scare heavy, but it, it does progress better. To be honest, I think the better part of this movie, like I do like the first 20 minutes, but I actually think the better part of this movie is kind of the latter half third act of this film like the last 15 minutes was probably my favorite part of this movie and another one I have is this kind of falls into the mixed category maybe slash negative but like I said uh Ellen Bernstein just I don't know if we actually really needed her in this film like I don't I wouldn't say she hurt the film horribly but I think that's kind of a good chunk of the film where the girls disappeared that was a good chunk of the film was going to her talking to her, you know what I mean, and Leslie Odom Jr. discovering her and trying to find her. And like what ends up happening, I don't want to spoil anything, there's no spoilers, but what ends up happening and what progresses is like, I don't, I really don't necessarily think we needed her in here. Like I said, I think we could have plucked her out of the film and it would have been fine. Like it's really cool though that we got a certain moment. There's a very certain moment that happens in this movie that's beautiful and I loved it. Like me being a horror fan, like I just really appreciated that moment. I thought that was really cool. So that that's probably one thing is like, yeah, if you plucked her out of it, you wouldn't be able to have this one specific moment. Like I said, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it's still like, I think she didn't really for me, she didn't elevate the film. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she didn't take it to a whole nother level or anything like that. And maybe, like, that's... Maybe that's a problem on me. Like, I expected too much from her character or something. Because they sold a lot of the trailers on, you know, oh, she's back. You know what I mean? We're bringing the mom back from the first movie. So it's like, there was a lot of lean into that. And it's just, I don't think it's necessarily as important as the trailer made it out to be. But thanks for sticking around with me all because these are just my thoughts and my opinions on Exorcist Believer. And in terms of a rating in my book, Exorcist Believer is going to get a 7.5 out of 10. It's teetering, tottering right there on that 8 to 7 mark. Like, I really was struggling with where I was going to land with the rating, so I, I, I had to sit it at that 7.5 because it's it really is teetering between an 8 and a 7. Like, an 8 is like something I instantly want to rewatch, and I don't feel it's that. And then a seven is like, when we get down to the seven, I feel like it's a little bit better than a seven. I just, I really do feel like it's a little bit better. So I want to sit it at that 7.5 spot. But like I said, these are just my opinions on the film. That means I would love to hear from all of you down below in the comments section, hit me up down there so we can discuss. Drop a like on the video, that definitely helps out. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, but most importantly, I want y'all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.